What's up, Word Nerds? It is Wednesday, September 27th, 2023. Welcome back to Alphabento. My name is Lawrence, and I apologize for yesterday's video not existing. Um, I mean, I say I apologize. It's not really my fault. I, I, or maybe it is. I don't really know what happened, honestly, is, is the, the story. Um, I recorded the video, and then my computer decided to delete it somehow. I, in the process of transferring it from one device to another, it disappeared. Um, and so I have no clue what happened. Weird glitch. Uh, uh, maybe it still exists somewhere on my computer, but I could not find it. And um, so it's gone. And I solved the puzzle, so I couldn't really, like, record it again, you know? Uh, so I just decided, well, there you go. Uh, I I'm, I'm, guess I'm skipping a day. Um, so it's a shame, but uh, Tuesday's uh, September 26th, video is is lost to the ether but um it was a good puzzle i i enjoyed yesterday's puzzle so it's it is really a shame that it um uh got it that it vanished uh, I, I don't know what happened but anyways i'm back um hopefully this the same thing will not happen today and you will see this video as usual but uh we're gonna try and solve today's new york times crossword by scott koenig and you can, as usual, follow along uh, looking at the clues I'm looking at right up here in blue. Um, they're also over here, but I usually just look right over here. Playfully tap on the nose at one across. Playfully tap on the nose. There's an... Oh, like boop. <laughs> uh, Error of many David Attenborough documentaries. Gotta be BBC. On vacation is out of office. I think that's OOO. Hooter. Owl. They're up to no good. Not sure, but what's 14 across? Throw a ball for a strike. Bowl. Um, they're up to no good. Plotters? Maybe? 17 across. Like helium and carbon dioxide. Ooh, look at this. We've got an interesting thing going on right in the middle there. Uh, like helium and carbon dioxide. Color... Col helium and colorless. Yeah, I was gonna say helium and carbon dioxide don't have colors, right? They're colorless. Kid. Not sure. All right, let's go over here. Hindu Mister. Hindu Mister. I'm not actually sure what that is. Fifteen. International Price Setting Group. Um, International Price Setting Group. It's not the IMF. I'm not sure what that is either. Let's look at the downs. Number two of six for Henry VIII. I do not know any of Henry VIII's wife's names. Um, yeah, no. Uh, imitated, aped. Spanish smooch is a, um, oh my gosh, basil. I cannot type. Bay Area School, UC San Diego, UC San Francisco, UCSF maybe. Do Babu, OPEC. There we go. Oh, it must be a Bolin, I guess. Okay, sealed. Two of six, yeah, okay. Sealed with a knot, tied off. All right. Nice, let's go over to nine. Step after lather, that'll be rinse. Lather, rinse, repeat. Fake. Copy. Fake. Faux. Counterfeit. Not sure. Object of wishful thinking. Of wishful thinking. Is it like a penny? Like you throw a penny in a wishing well or something? I'm not sure. D and D or WoW, for example. That would be RPG. This is how rumors get started. This is how rumors get started. Hmm. Meaningless. Nonsensical. 
Nice. Quick cut. A snip. What a colon might represent in a text. Eyes. Fake is phony. Object of wishful thinking is a genie. Symbols of Egyptian royalty are asps. Uh, was known as? Was known as? Hmm. Oh, went by. Kid is rib. Okay. Instrument that Hermes made from a tortoise shell and reads in myth. Is it like a lyre? Maybe. This is how rumors get started. I hear. Oh, that's good. Ache. Like a yen, like you long for something, I think. Chimney vents are flues. I'm not sure how to spell that. It might be O-O. I don't really know how to spell. Uh, nope. I haven't the foggiest. Oh, no. I think I was right, because it's no clue here. And then a secrecy-enforcing contract is a... Non-disclosure agreement, I think, NDA. Get into it. A door? Like you go into a door? Maybe? Should we look at the downs here? Let's, let's try and finish this area before I move on. Steamed blank. Classic Simpsons sketch. Steamed something. Cancel on a keyboard. Escape, maybe? Classic Simpsons sound. Do. Past one's prime with up. Wadded up? Went. Door might be wrong. Westernmost city in Texas. Yeah, this is El Paso, Texas. Uh, so named father of modern linguistics. No idea. Burn soother aloe. Get into it. Get into it. Hmm. Past one's prime. Hmm. Steamed blank. Okay, well, I'm not sure, so let's go on to the next part. Indication of correctness in Wordle would be green. Let it all out in a way. Let it all out in a way. Sob, maybe? Steam blank. You might entertain them. Entertain uh, guests. You can entertain an idea, maybe? Ideas? Eponym of a popular vodka brand. I don't know vodka brands very well. I don't drink vodka. Recharge, so to speak. Sleep? Maybe? Uh, did in. Second, social media account for posting private jokes and such informally. Oh, what is that called? Uh, I've heard this term before. There's some, some term for a second. I forget. Let's look at the downs here. Nash, who called the rhinoceros preposterous. <laughs> That'll be Ogden Nash. Plains people are Crees. Uh, vaulted leapt. Is it Finsta or something like that? What's um, West Coast Hub for United, SFO? I think it's Finsta. Or Fansta? Finsta. Oh, it's 40 down. Okay, so that's not exactly true. I lied. Yeah, Finsta. Okay. There we go. Um, did in. Like father, like son. Hmm. Plains people are Oto. 
big batteries are D cells, maybe? Well, a well-known stone, and it's stone with a capital S, so it's gonna be an, a famous person like Sharon Stone. Who else? What are other famous stones? Sly Stone. Other stones, I'm blanking. Golf ball features are dimples. Alternating current pioneer is Tesla. And, ooh, boy, lots of theme in this today. Okay, following 17, 37, 40, and 43 across, the end of a properly formed yet 11 down sentence by 25 down, demonstrating the distinction between syntax and semantics. This is so intricate. What is, huh? End of a properly formed yet nonsensical sentence by this person what following colorless ideas sleep huh yeah i have no idea what that means and I don't know, I don't recognize what name could go here. And I don't know who the father of modern linguistics is. So this is, this is weird. Okay. Beseeched. Asked, maybe? Um, oh, no, I do recognize what name can go here. That K really helped. This is Noam Chomsky. Okay. Um, steamed yams steamed hams oh washed up is past ones prime yes okay steamed hams uh okay hold on hold on one guilty of disorderly conduct no the smoothie seed aside or no chia chia is chia right i'm thinking chia pet now and that makes me think that i'm wrong about chia it's is it chia it's something like that. If it's not Chia, man, I, I'm blanking. Uh, parental authority. Say so, maybe? Is this a do? Ruckus is a do, yeah, okay. Parents to kids. Parents to kids. Huh. Edible seaweed, nori. All right, let's look at the downs now. You've got my attention. Do tell. Dwellings or abodes. Doom scrolling, for example. Not sure. Unrehearsed lines or ad libs. Blank from the crypt, tales from the crypt. Big boss is CEO. Mid flight stats are ETAs. And Butte, but bigger, is a Mesa. So this was Emma, a well known stone. Emma Stone. Yes, I blanked on Emma Stone. Okay. On the off chance that happens, if so, chew on. Hmm. Nudge, maybe push. Uh, blank drives me crazy, 1989, number one hit. Oh, maybe Nori's wrong. I think this is, she drives me crazy, the infamous song by Fine Young Cannibals that um, will forever be associated with a certain cousin of mine who used to sing that song all the time when he was a kid. Uh, teeny weeny. Talk, talk, talk. Maybe yak. Something looks colorless. Huh? Hmm. And I don't know what this means. I think something's wrong though, because this S U S blank S B can't be right. One guilty of disorderly conduct. A ad libs is definitely right. So push is maybe wrong. Or maybe if so, it's wrong. 
also. Uh, one guilty of disorderly conduct. Parents to kids are old. I think this might be mall. Disorderly. Oh, slob. And prod. There we go. Furiously? I mean, that fits. Furiously. Teeny weeny a little. Chia seed. I think that was right. Okay. Edible seaweed is uh, kelp. So this is yap. Okay. Something suck. Doom scrolling. Time suck. And there you go. I need to look at this for a minute and like figure out what this theme is means because I am not getting this. <laughs> it was very confusing. There's a lot going on here. Uh, okay, so following following each of these across entries, it was the end of a properly formed yet nonsensical sentence demonstrating the distinction between syntax and semantics. Colorless furiously. Green furiously. Ideas furiously. Sleep furiously. Huh? Or, no, is it, is it following all of these? Maybe that's what it is. It's colorless green ideas sleep furiously. Is that what it is? You just read them in order like that? The end of a properly formed yet nonsensical sentence. Colorless green ideas sleep furiously. I mean, that is a properly formed sentence. And I should know as an English teacher. I mean, I'm an English teacher and this is confusing to me. <laughs> Colorless green ideas sleep furiously is definitely a properly formed sentence in terms of the way the parts of speech work. But it is nonsensical. So maybe that, I guess that's what it's supposed to be. Colorless green, I, rather than colorless furiously or green furiously. Um, colorless green ideas sleep furiously is this I wonder if this is like a famous sentence that like Noam Chomsky came up with himself I guess it must be right because like otherwise I don't understand why this particular choice of words happened colorless green ideas sleep furiously I mean, it makes no sense. You, you uh, yeah, it just, I, I just don't. This is very confusing. Um, I am going to have to do some Googling after this. Um, you know what? I'm just going to, I don't usually do this, but I'm just going to do some Googling right here on camera. Um, let's go. Colorless green ideas yeah there it is what is going on here what does colorless green ideas sleep furiously is a sentence composed by noam chomsky in 1957 as an example of a sentence whose grammar is correct but whose meaning is nonsensical however some might argue that chomsky simply wasn't imaginative enough to put the sentence into a context which would give it meaning okay so this is like a famous sentence then all right so that makes sense then now i get it all right. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, so there we go. Colorless green ideas sleep furiously. A little tribute to Noam Chomsky then. It's just some one that, I don't know, maybe it's this is very well known. Uh, and it's just a blind spot for me, but this seems very obscure to me. Uh, <laughs> um, you Let me know in the comments. Is this something that you were aware of? That, that Or is this uh, as new to you as it is to me? Um... Uh, I, I'd be curious to know how many people are aware of this particular, uh, I, will you call it a quote or a sentence or whatever, this particular um, thing. <laughs> um, Noam Chomsky I, I am familiar with, which is, I mean, tangentially, but like, that's bizarre. 
What a bizarre thing. Anyways, um, it's cool. Now that I know that it's a thing, it's it's a cool, actual, like a, a nice puzzle with a lot of theme in there. Because not only do we get that sentence, but we also get Noam Chomsky going down. We also get nonsensical going down. It's just confusing as heck. <laughs> uh, especially to someone who doesn't know what it is. But it also, I mean, I, it, there was some fun stuff in here. I mean, the opening was great. Playfully tap on the nose. Boop. That's that's a great way to open a puzzle. I mean, that's telling the audience right away, we're going to have a little bit of fun here, all right? Loosen up, you know, from the get-go. Uh, so that's fun. Babu, I've only heard of because of Seinfeld. If you're if there's any Seinfeld out, fans out there, let me know, because Babu Bot is uh, a character from Seinfeld that I, I liked, and I didn't know that Babu just meant Mr., so it's Mr. Bot. Um that's that's new to me so uh, man i learned some stuff today this is great this is really great we've got finsta in there that's fun there's, there's some good stuff in here throw a ball for a strike bowl yeah do tell i like also no there this was actually a pretty solid puzzle with some interesting stuff in here um but it would just <laughs> The ending just confused the heck out of me, is all. But, uh, hey, that happens. I mean, you can't know everything, right? Nobody can know everything. So uh, it's that's why we learn. That's why we do these things. This is why I love crosswords, um, and that's, that's what I'm here for. And that's what I hope you're here for as well. So anyways, that's it for today. I am going to be back tomorrow. Hopefully, again, assuming that you're seeing this now and assuming that my computer is fine and the same glitch doesn't happen again, uh, I will be back tomorrow. Um, I mentioned this on Monday, but I'm going to say it again. Uh, there is a link in the description, and it will be the first link in the description to this video, uh, to my new newsletter that I've started out. It's going to be just a once-a-week newsletter that goes out on Monday evenings, my time here in Japan. Um, that is, uh, it, it's not related to crosswords outright. It might tangentially relate to crosswords every once in a while just because it's one of my hobbies. Uh, but it is just a newsletter uh, of my thoughts and reflections on uh, my life and things like that. And also poetry. I write poetry. Um, so there will be some of that in there. Um, it, it's going to be a, kind of a hodgepodge of things until I get more stuff figured out uh of what works and what doesn't work but uh, for now I, i'm a writer it's it's my creative outlet and so i'm starting to put myself out there and get my crap out there in the world and so if you feel like joining in for the ride it, you can sign up for completely 100 percent free and get the full newsletter for free um there are options to pay for uh, supporting me if you feel like being very generous and supporting me I will absolutely appreciate that but there's no pressure at all absolutely no pressure um, you will get the entire there's there's no benefit to joining the paid tier at this point right now um, there's no extra added benefits so um, you can get the whole thing for free uh, at the link in the description but if not totally fine I'll see you tomorrow all right come back uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and I'll see you tomorrow but until then spread the word bye bye